On today's show, we are talking about the best covers, the best panels, and the best books from the month of April. Okay, so it's it's one of my favorite times of the month. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the month. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I like doing this. I do like doing this. Uh, we, we're talking, as I said in the intro, um, about the, the, the best panels and covers and books and whatever. All that jazz. And uh, we're going to start with cover. We are going to start with cover. What you, what you got for me? I will go first. Um, it's, it's actually a repeat of last month, my cover of the month, Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, wins it again. In all honesty, and you said this before the show, uh, before we started filming, it was a hard month to pick cover because mm. there were no outstanding covers mm. this month. Um, a lot of the time there'll be a cover where you just like, mm, yeah. yeah. Like, and I mean, that, this that's for me was it. That, yeah. um, I love the use of color. Sam, you can draw the shit out of a book. We talked about that on Monday, but... Um, yeah, the use of colour is wonderful, and I. What I will preference this by saying is, all of my books could have been book of the month that I've picked here today. This really could have been book of the month, um, but I figured I'd give it cover because it's beautiful, uses great colours, and yeah, uh, fan tabidozy. It is beautiful cover. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a really hard time picking uh, both uh, cover of the month and panel of the month. Yeah. For different reasons, I, I honestly felt like there just weren't many standout uh, covers. The one I, I kept going back to was uh, Fraser Irving's Uncanny X-Men cover. And I just like just the interesting mix of color that Fraser Irving does so well. I like the contrast Magneto of the green, and green. Uh, the green and the red. I mean, it's, it's just the one I kept coming back to. I like the Cyclops but blast, and then it go into a matte red and the logo on the front. It's cool. Yeah. It's playful. Um, the inside of this book is absolutely gorgeous as well. Yeah. Um, you can't fault Fraser Irving. No, you can't. And, and, uh, and, and yeah, Fraser Irving, we, we talked about his covers in the um, in Bedlam. He just great cover. He's a great artist. We love him. So, yeah, that's the one I kept going back yeah. to. I like that a lot. Also, can I also just preference this by saying... I know there were actually loads of really good covers, but I only, like, I know personally myself, I don't know about you, but I only like to pick the covers of books that I buy. Mm. I don't like Well, the X-Men Legacy covers have been fantastic. They have. Fearless Defenders have had some great covers. You know what didn't have great covers, even though they really did try? DC. Their WTF month really didn't work, clearly. Um, mm. Bless them. They do try. Okay, so uh, panel of the month. Mine's is, again... This is a book that's come up before, and it is Thor, God of Thunder. Um, there is a fantastic scene right at the I'm start. Not look it's it. it's not a spoiler, okay. um, but Thor is being plagued by dreams of the God Butcher. Uh, he wakes up, his wench is worried about him, and he just says, "I wish to dream no more this night. That means you'll have to keep me awake till the morn." Nice. And you just you look at that panel and you go, "Thor, you're such a pimp." He's such a badass. I just, I love it. I, I don't know what it is about that. And also the following panel where she's just throwing the sword. She's like, oh, I can do that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it was it was almost a more, you know, a more adult uh, kind of. This has been a very adult tour, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, and we've never, like, that's that's definitely the most adult that it's gotten so far. Uh, but I, I, for some reason, that panel really just kind of. Made me giggle, but yeah, so Thor, God of Thunder. Honestly, my favorite panel was so hard. It's same, that was that was a difficult one. Like, I went through, so, there's, could Ooh, have been Young Avengers, have could it. have been Uncanny, could have been um, Ten Grand. What well, I Ten Grand came out this month, it came out in May, oh, yeah. May the 1st. It's a good job I didn't pick that. that <laughs> you want it just? <laughs> um, I went from something that came out right at the beginning of the month, and, and Stuart Eminem top two or three favorite artists at the yeah. moment. I love his art so much. And this panel in particular, it's a panel of, um, oh, what's the, what's his name? Crack, crack cow? What's that his name? Crack Den? The, 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 crack the, the monster <laughs> that lives in the Jean Grey School for High Learning. I have no idea. It's on the ground, so it's him. Right? Oh. Look at that. Oh. I absolutely got, it just made me gasp yeah. when I saw it. The scale. The scale the... of it, like there's something really, the fa all the small X-Men and the color in it, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Do you know what makes that? The fact that you get such scale? Yeah. 
not on a splash page. Like, it doesn't yes! take up the entire page Do you know, either. Oh my God, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. Because I always feel, especially with the Jim Lee stuff, like you're supposed to open a book and you just, you know, the, the big splash page, double page spread, and you're supposed to go, whoa, you know, it's supposed to do, that does it, and it's half a page. Yeah. The sense of scale and awe that I got from looking at that was just incredible. Yep. Like, and Stuart Eminent. And the colors, I want to mention the colors um, because this uh, color, uh, actually, this is a different color than usual, I think. But anyway, the. the Bre Bredu? Bredu and Garcia. Yeah, no, I think this is different than oh. usual. But anyway, the colors in this book have been absolutely it's outstanding. Stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's I love really it. Stunning it's amazing. So, yeah, that's the one I ended up going with. Okay, it's time for book of the month. I also noticed that this table is entirely full of Marvel comics. Yeah, they've, they've been this. killing it. Um, yeah, it's strange that we talk about Image so much, and yet... I think we're, we're because we're buying a lot of Image in trades, Yeah, so, so it, it, we don't like to put trades as our book of the month, no. either, so... Uh, my book of the month... Save that for the end of the year. Yeah, we'll save it for the end of the year. Uh, I, I, it's not a book you've been reading. Okay. It's a book that I've been reading. We have one issue away from the finale of it. This left oh. it on such a cliffhanger. It's Daredevil End of Days. You talked about that for a while? I have, yeah. It's, um, we are literally one issue away. We're about to find out what Mapone is. We're about to... The cliffhanger this book left me on made me gasp. I was just trade. like, oh my God, what is happening? Yeah, the trade of this book is going to be stunning. It's going to be... As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be a definitive Batman story. Everything from the writing S by Ben. So feet for it to be a definitive Batman story. Oh, I just did it, Dan. <laughs> God dang it. You know why I say that? Because it, it, it reminds me so much of uh, Return of the Dark Knight. It, it's the it Dark Knight Returns. It reminds me of uh, Old Man Logan. I don't know why. It's just that kind of future. Yeah. Um, it, it really does have that kind of... It's, you know what it is? It's that this is the last story mm, of that character. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, that's why I say it. Because Batman, The Dark Knight Returns has that kind of same yeah. vibe. But it's going to be the definitive Daredevil story. Uh, the writing from Bendis, the artwork by Mac and Jansen. I'm sorry to get the trade definitely. Everyone else who works on it is fantastic and I remember speaking to them at um, uh, Super Comic Con telling them how much I love the book and how much of a blast it's been for them to and work And they love it. making it as well. They, they have absolutely loved it and it, yeah, it really does show in this book and the writing is so good and the cameos are so good and just everything about it is fantastic. The only problem I had with it was the cover, just because it has nothing to do with this issue. <laughs> Maybe last issue, but there you go, right way up. <laughs> Dan, what is your book of the month? Yeah, as I say, this this was hard as well. Although I had ten grand in the mix, um, so um, yeah, I know what this is gonna be. Oh come on, like it, Young Avengers. It, not only is this. Definitely my favorite Marvel series, maybe my favorite series being published, but this is the best issue that they've done. It is so incredible. There is innovation on every page. Like, there are at least three pages in this book where you go, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Like, and it, th there's especially one kind of double page spread where you get uh, Novar just kicking ass. And it is so cool. And uh, one of the, the panel in this, I'm not going to show it, the. Um, Come with me if you want to be awesome. Come with me if you want to be awesome with Nova. Like, it's just amazing and hilarious. I won't spoil it because I know you're going to get the trade, but there's a oh, hilarious yeah. Captain America and Thor moment in this which had me howling with laughter. Cool. In this book, we get some kid, you know, we get Kid Loki um, up to stuff. And you were just like, what is that little bastard doing? <laughs> and, but he, some of the stuff... What are you up to, you Some shit? of the stuff that he's saying to a uh, Hulkling is really kind of cutting and manipulative and you can feel Loki yeah. at playing, you don't know what he's doing. It ends on a great cliffhanger. The way McKelvey is drawing these characters, I'm just absolutely in awe of. Mm. Like, I'm just so into this book. I'm gonna buy the trade as well, I mean, which, I will, which I will always do for books that I love this much. It's like what we said the other week. Like, you wanna, I wanna, on one hand, I want to know what happens next. On the other hand, I want to hand it out to people and say, read this, read this book. Yeah. Um, I absolutely adore it. I think this is the best issue that they've done. If you're not reading it, I, I just highly recommend it. It's youthful. It's funny. Um, it's lighthearted. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to get it in trade. I, I was reading it. The last two issues didn't drag, uh, pull me in. I'm buying a lot of books, but I will pick that up in trade. Cool. 
So that was that was our books of the month. We want to know what were your books of the we month. We absolutely do. We love hearing what your books of the month are. Put them down there in the comments because you know, yeah, we do love to see what you guys are picking up because then we might be picking it up as exactly. well. Um, also, tell us on Twitter. We like it when we hear from you guys over there. Uh, it's it's you know something that we're trying to do more of um, <laughs> is put things on there. So I can't look show one. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. Um, yeah, yeah, and that'll do us for this week. It will indeed. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>